First Monday of the new year, we have realtor Stephanie Jones in the studio. Thank you for waking up early with us. Always happy to. I know. I really enjoy when you're here. You just you make everything just happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Stephanie, we're talking about housing in the new year. My fiance and I were, were talking about buying a house. We get so married this said. year. So I'm just worried about it. What are we seeing this year? We know supply chain problems happened a lot last year and they're following into this year. Is that causing problems with housing? Where that's causing the problem is in new construction. Okay. And we anticipate that to follow through. Um, and we still see that new construction is definitely lagging behind. Mm -hmm. And we definitely want new construction. Um, where we're going to see some effects this year is we're anticipating some increases in the interest rate which is going to slow down that buying fever and it's going to make people's money go a little bit um, slower. Mm -hmm. So what that's going to do is it's going to take that frenzy out of the market. And hopefully what we've talked about within the industry is that's going to bring us back to I, I hes hesitate to say it, mm -hmm. but potentially more of a balanced market. Okay. So the new buyers coming into the market are going to have uh, the ability to actually look. And it, where in the last year it's been, if you don't have cash, you couldn't get a house. If you weren't offering crazy amounts of money before, you couldn't get a house. Well, in a more balanced market, we expect that first-time buyers are going to have a foothold again. Okay. And first-time buyers made out when they could ask for rebates towards closing costs, which helped first-time buyers get a house, where they could use rural development loans, VA loans, mm. other loan programs that helped first-time home buyers. And we expect in a more balanced market those type of programs to come back into play. Okay, so that's that's good news for Absolutely. me as a first-time buyer. Now, um, we were just talking before before we went live here. What is it a good idea to buy a first-time home if you're renting? I guess what is the way to do that? First thing you have to do, as uh, anyone who's watched mm -hmm. has heard me say, the first step is always to get pre-qualified. Mm -hmm. That allows you to know what you're actually working with as um, dollars to play with. Okay. Then you start working with your agent and a good agent is gonna help you see what you have to do to get your foot in the door. Do you need to have, as a first time buyer, do you need to have a uh, credit towards your closing costs? Is that something you're going to have to ask for? If so, how do we write an offer that's going to include that, that's going to be appealing to a seller? What are you going to have to do? What homes are you going to have to look at? Where are you going to have to look? And that's the communication that you have with your buyer's mm -hmm. agent. Okay. And that's the information that you have to communicate with your buyer's agents once you're pre-approved. And that's the information that you need to get done mm -hmm. before you even start <laughs> looking. Well, that is exactly what I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stephanie, for joining us in studio this morning.